Well, uh, that was simply uh, unequivocally the best uh, presentation I, I, I've seen. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of a weird thing to say. Uh, I make Generation Canadian and uh, profoundly uh, proud to be Canadian. Um, but just for a moment there, I, I sort of wished I, I was American uh, so that I could uh, march. Uh, boy, that's... I have, I have great hopes. Great hopes for uh, July 12th. I had hoped uh, prior um, I'd heard something of a march uh, that wasn't necessarily... It was sort of tied to Ron Paul. Um, because he he'd, he'd brought up about the IRS and and um, and the problems and that's kind of my thing the our monetary system in uh, in Canada uh, when we went off the silver standard uh, is when we got into our debt problems um, so here in Canada we have to get back to you know using our Bank of Canada instead of you know, kind of like you guys with the with the Federal Reserve uh, but. I think the will of the people must be shown. It must be shown. And oh boy, oh boy, it does me proud. I I'm just I'm I don't, I'm really at a loss. I just I felt I had to uh, respond because uh, I didn't think I could type anything uh, that would convey what the video did for me it, it, it really captured I think the essence of it all you know um, most rogue governments um, whether you choose to believe in it's the Jesuits or the Masons or you know, the Illuminati or you know whatever secret shadowy Ooga thing out there uh, that that's like you know controlling shit or whatever. Um, they're able to strip freedoms from the people, uh, usually um, in the same manner. They create a situation. They create a fear. They provide the solution to the problem and while the people are in fear they give them up they give up the freedoms and then once the uh, situation has has passed the freedoms really don't come back they come back sort of watered down or you know the, the laws have been, been, been altered or whatever the case may be um, but I, I'm just thoroughly impressed uh, it's more important than ever that the March on July 12th I think you will have millions there that's what I think I don't think it will just be young people and I think it, it's a march for freedom. I think that, quite frankly, the liberal and conservative, the democratic and the republican paradigm is finally breaking away. It's finally just breaking away. Um, And I don't know. Uh, I I want to see how the pundits. I'm look apart from anything else. My I'm curious as much to see how your media, the world media, but in particular the American media, are going to try and spin this. You know, if there's only a, a couple thousand of you, then you'll be wackos. The Ron Paul Revolution, ah. Just a bunch of kids buying computers. That's it. Eh. And, and you'll be marginalized. 
and it won't be worth a fucking lick of beans. But a millions? You know, of all strikes, young, old, you know. I had a, a conversation with a, a young man uh, just the other day. Um, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he's 15 years old and he's uh, he's all about conservative values and he's a, he's a fundamental Christian or a evangelical Christian. And he's all about, you know, the right wing is the right way and, and Democrats are hating America and all this sort of stupidity. And, you know, we just have to, have to get past that. We have to get past the short-term memory problem that, that, that plagues, you know. Uh, some, today, when I talk to folks today, some will say, a lot of them will say, well, you know, war, down with Bush. Bush is a legal war and, and he's a hawk and he's all, he's all about going for war, war, war. Well, it's true that George Bush is a chicken hawk. That is true. And uh, it is true that the war in Iraq was illegal. That, that, that's true as well. Um, after 9-11, going into Afghanistan was uh, a good thing because the Taliban ha hosed uh, bin Laden, who was, uh, you know, the, what we were told, the best, uh, the best lead uh, for who, who committed the atrocity. And so Canada hopped right in there. But the purpose was never to occupy Afghanistan. It wasn't to build their nation. It certainly wasn't to reopen the friggin' opium poppy fields. You know, the, the purpose of intervention wasn't to get Afghanistan back on the map as a leading heroin producer. They didn't, I don't remember hearing that in the ramp up uh, towards war. Your country needs you. The world, quite frankly, needs you. Because what happens in the States does trickle down around the world. It just does. The single most important thing that Ron Paul means to me as a Canadian, well, there's two things. The first is the return to your Constitution, using your Constitution as a guidebook. And that bodes well for Canada. Because Canada does not is not a nation-building country. We do have a peacekeeping force, and I understand uh, the problems that many have with the UN. I'm not entirely tickled with uh, with, with them myself, and, and on, in a lot of cases. But Canadians should look to for what's best for Canada first. Make sure its people are taken care of first and then and negotiate uh, trade agreements or and, and, and others and other such things uh, with that basics whether it's our natural resources our power um, our hydropower and so forth whatever the case may be it's what's best for Canada first and foremost and America should be doing the same it's why quite frankly Canada and America have been historically such a wonderful uh, trading partner over the years, including Mexico into the the tripod of it. All that does is introduces cheap labor. The exporting of our of our labor market of our uh, of the jobs. But I, I sort of sl slip sideways, and, and I'm. I am sorry because I tried to keep on point here, but I, I just wanted to say, as a Canadian, a, a proud Canadian, eighth-generation Canadian, that I wholeheartedly support the Ron Paul Revolution. Um, we have a a movement here as well uh, by the Honorable Connie Folk with the Canadian Action Party, and uh, you can check out our. our the website there. Um, um, I do wish Americans would have health care like us, but uh, aside from that, way to go, peace. <laughs>